<laughs> Yo, <laughs> what's up? What's happening, family? It's Kimar Kane coming to you all the way live. Your favorite country cousin, your favorite Mississippian, and your best friend, joined by the beautiful and beautifully talented. Hey, y'all, it's Ashley FG, and we are here with another episode of The, the family, family Tree, Tree Podcast. Podcast. What's happening, Ashley? We back at it again. Part three. Talking more about love. Love and the place to be. Self-care. Self-care. There's this song. I don't I don't know the title of it. I think it's called Self Care. Okay. But I remember it was played out on social media because it was just like okay. the thing for a lot of girls to post. Yeah. Um, but I'm doing right. Okay. Self care. Okay. No? Nah. Okay. Start ringing the so bell. That. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is my jam, okay? Let me just say. <laughs> um, and I love that song for the simple reason she's saying. Like, I'm I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. Self-care. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's an investment in self. It is. What does that look like, though, Kane? Mm. You know, like, when I think about myself, I mean, of course, there's there's the glitz and the glam, sure. You mm. know what I mean? There's the spa treatment. There's the, you know, vacay. There's the brunching thing. Mm. But it's also, you know, the bad and the ugly, For right? For sure, yeah. You know, it's the unpacking and unlearning it's the therapy really mm-hmm. therapy is the key word for me when i think about self-care especially okay. for 2022 yeah um i it's been a while since i've been in therapy hadn't seen a therapist since the pandemic mm-hmm. prior to the pandemic i was consistent with it um that was part of my self-care okay um but this year i'm actually like in the process of securing a new therapist and it's a black woman Lovely. you know what i mean so like i'm excited about that Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's my self-care. Um, 2022, it's funny, I was talking to uh, my cousin the other day, and I just simply said, like, we healing in 2022. Be like, facts. that's my self-care. Yeah. More emphasis on healing, you know what I mean? Um, and with therapy. Yeah. Being my main self-care love item. That. You know what I mean? I love it. Um, what does self-care look like for you? Or in 2022, like, what's your theme for self-care? My theme, perfect question. As of late, I've been saying growing out loud. Okay. That's my that theme like? for 2022. Growing out loud is simply being, I'm already an open book, mm-hmm. but I'm sharing more with my friends as well as, you know, those who follow me online, uh, sharing more of my growth out loud. Yeah. Healing as I grow. You know what I mean? That's you know that's in that's in my bio. If you go to my Instagram, yeah. it says healing as I grow. Yeah. For sure. So that 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 concept of transparency, mm-hmm. you know. Um, we've been having more conversations about mental health and yeah. mental illness. Um we're talking a lot about suicide for these sure. days as well in twenty twenty so far. Um, we saw that with the former Miss America, yeah. right? You know, and so, and I remember maybe it was something that she tweeted a while ago and it was reported and she was just talking about, you know, Instagram, for example. Yeah. Like, Instagram is a highlight of all of my highlights, uh-huh. my life highlights, my best moments, right? Mm-hmm. But you never know really what people are going through. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so, you know, when you talk about being transparent and kind of growing through that, um, I made a post recently, mm-hmm. and I ain't going to lie, I almost didn't post it. Word. But I put on top of it, moment of transparency. This is me talking about the birth of my niece. This mm-hmm. is the, the first, uh, my parents' first grandchild. So, mm-hmm. you know, this is new for our family. But she came during a time where um, both sides, my, my brother's wife, her family, lost someone same Mm -hmm. week we lost someone Mm -hmm. so we're both going to funerals everybody's grieving you know she's trying to carry bring this baby into the world so there's there's the heavy grief there's that sadness um personally i've been dealing with a lot of anxiety and just pressure it's just a lot going on but then when she came it just it just felt like a lot of that disappeared a lot of those worries just melted away you know and so I posted, you know, talking about just that that moment, like meeting her and and just being so grateful for God's timing. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I truly believe he blesses us a lot of times in in those moments, you know, and it's up to us to receive that, you know, and redirect our energy. 
Um, but, you know, just to be saying you know, or talking about my anxiety or things like that, I'm, I'm not used to doing that publicly. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? But I was proud to do it because, like you, I do agree that I want to be – I want to be more open yeah. and transparent and talking about things, even things that are difficult to talk about. I'm in communications, right? Yeah. So it's not, generally it's not difficult for me to communicate, mm-hmm. but for things that I'm not used to talking about out loud, mm-hmm. you know, I've seen how I've stumbled through it, but that stumble is a part of me getting through it. Yeah, you know what facts. I mean? So, I mean, I, I love that that's your thing for this year. Oh yeah. And I hope that, you know, we, we all can find a sense and comfort in that and, and try it out. And Do you, it out loud. Out loud. You know what encourages me to continue to be open as yeah. I do? Because mm-hmm. I've gotten so many DMs, text messages, and calls over the years saying how certain things that I have posted or even talked to them in person about how that's helped them in mm-hmm. a mighty way yeah. to be more open themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, to me, it's not a rocket science for real. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like the more that I'm open, the more the people around me will open up because mm-hmm. we all bottle up stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's not the best yeah, way I to do, do things. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, like um, I remember hearing about a lady um, bottling so much up that it began to cause physical harm to where she had to undergo surgery. Wow. We can think ourselves sick. For sure, we can hold we can hold stuff in for so long that it that it handicaps us for it real. It weighs on you. You can't breathe. Can't breathe. That's anxiety. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's like with 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 that going on and understanding that that's what people need. Mm-hmm. You know, I've heard the uh, Inky Johnson, one of my favorite speakers, once said before. You know, courage, <laughs> having courage is being the person that's willing to go first. You know what I mean? Like within my friend group um, and other people around me, I've been the one that's been a lot more open and being more transparent about a lot of things. You know what I mean? Um, And I'm proud that some of the inner work that I've been doing is able to manifest for myself, but also for others as well. Because it's bigger than me. Of course, I want to feel great and I feel phenomenal you know, from the work that I've done on myself. But then to see, I had one of my partners hit me because I had posted a mirror talk that I did. That's one of the, that's one of the things that I do for self-care. Mirror talk. I do a mirror talk. Okay. I talk to myself in the mirror. I'm like, Kane, look, you're doing a good job out here, man. Like, doing a good job. Don't let up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, bro, you know, keep doing what you're doing. And one of my partners hit me like two weeks later. He said, man, bro, send me that uh, mirror talk video you did so I can make sure I'm doing it right. Mm. I say, wow. Mm. I say, that's why I do it. Mm. I had a young lady DM me recently, like, I feel like I'm seeing you, like, glow up or blossom. Mm-hmm. You know? I agree with her. You know what I mean? Thank you. And I, uh, somebody else hit me, like, they say it was, it's a pleasure to see how life is going for you from, from years ago to now. And it's not like I was in a complete, like, funk, you know. But things have transitioned in a big way. I think people are seeing. Definitely. I have evolved. People are more so seeing my my perspective and my mindset from 2013 to 2022, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. growing out loud. Mm -hmm. And, like, that self-care, I make sure that one of my favorite records is by Layla Hathaway called Breathe. And she's simply saying, like, don't forget to breathe. Mm-hmm. Like, do some box breathing. Inhale for four mm-hmm. seconds. That's why they say box. Mm-hmm. Four corners, four seconds. Mm-hmm. Inhale for four seconds. Hold it for a second or two. Exhale for four seconds. Mm-hmm. Those deep breathing exercises can calm the mind, calm your anxiety. That helps me. Yeah. I, I have my breathing exercises. I do it every sure. day. Look, uh, all day. Yeah, sometimes. all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I hope we breathe in all day. Yes. For sure. For sure. More intentional breathing. <laughs> right. For sure. For sure. Right. Yeah. Um, wow. You know, um, I like that you talk about, you know, like doing this out loud mm-hmm. and, you know, seeing and hearing from other people yeah. who may be inspired by that. 
another something else I want to mention, you know, in doing this, while I do believe, you know what I mean, like people catch on to it um, and they're inspired to do the same. But I also think, you know, some of our doing, we should care less too about how other people, Ooh. you know, might receive our react. Because especially when it comes to social media, Indeed. you know what I mean? A lot of what we do is kind of like, we're checking our likes. Yep. We want to see, you know what I mean, like who's who's interacting with us based on what we posted. But if you if this is for you, mm-hmm. again, self care, right? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if this is for you, then it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like how people, um, whether they're liking it or you know responding in your DMs about you know something you've done. Mm-hmm. You know, not not that that's what you're doing, but you for see sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I I think that's something else that we should address. That yeah. To, you know, differentiate between truly yeah. living and doing these yeah. things out loud versus living and doing it for other people. I you know agree. what I mean? If it's supposed to be for you. I agree. And sometimes we need to check ourselves. Big Human facts. nature, we, we we like to be accepted by people. We like mm-hmm. people to like what we're doing to like us. Mm-hmm. But, again, back to self-care. If it's about self, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. Don't matter. Nobody else has to say or how they feel about it. And yeah. honestly, I think that's a, a, a perfect example Mm -hmm. because I am a big fan of positive programming Mm. again you know we enjoy when I say we I'm speaking in general Mm -hmm. we enjoy things like the shade room we enjoy Mm -hmm. the reality tv with all the fights and stuff on tv they got Mm -hmm. us looking crazy we enjoy that we gravitate to that yeah but it's like I share a lot of my different quotes and other quotes that I've heard and the positive stuff don't necessarily get all the likes. Mm. And that mm. used that used to discourage me. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. But going Talk back to game. Oh yeah, for sure. It used to discourage me when I would post some things and I get a few likes and I would delete it because I'm like, man, damn, like ain't nobody really rocking with me for right. real. It you makes you I mean? it makes you feel that way. It made but me feel like trash. I feel like a lot of people receive. I've but learned that. You? I've learned that. Okay. Cause I can't tell you how many times again, it's like people like are ghost followers. Cause like, <laughs> yo man, can I saw that post, man. That really, you know, I'm like, damn, if my first initial thought is like, why you ain't like my shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, we you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you here. <laughs> uh, but Real I went on, I went on a sabbatical, man. And I, I love social media alone for a while. And I really just had to sit with myself, self care. If I could, I would do that right now. Yeah. I would do that right now. Yeah. But I understand, you know, my role in digital media. Mm-hmm. I understand my role with the podcast, mm-hmm. you know, and, and with other things that I'm working on. But it's it's coming soon. It's important. I need to take This helped me a lot. Yes. And it, Every and time I've taken a break, yes, I came out on the other side better. Whew. You know what I mean? Because now, like, I can get one or two likes and still be confident in what I posted. Because, again, it's for me. A lot of stuff that I post, of course, I wanted to help other people. But, again, it's for me yeah. to help me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes I be having to take my own advice. I be like, dang, God, thank you. Some stuff just be hitting me. Yeah. I'm like, that's good, God. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? Let me, maybe it was just for you. Maybe it was. And some stuff, that's, that's good. Because some stuff I get and I want to post right away. Some mm. stuff I get and I sit with it. Mm-hmm. And then it'll be a while if I post it at all. But if I do post it, it's like later. Listen, my saved, like, my saved tab on yeah. IG, full of stuff. Word. For me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you have those moments, you know, and you may need to reflect on something mm. or to be reminded about something, yeah. you know. Because when I look at my Instagram feed, mm-hmm. I have, you know, there's my there's family, there's friends, but because it's my Instagram, mm-hmm. it's my social media, this is my time, and, I, and I'm trying to be really particular about what I consume, what I absorb, you know yeah, what I mean? for sure. So I'm going to control what I see. So I'm following things like Therapy for Black Girls mm-hmm. or Black and Well, you know what I mean? I'm following these pages that that are t- that's teaching me, yeah. you know, how to be a better me. If yeah. I'm going to use social media, I want to use it to... My advantage. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because yep. there's a lot of trash out there. It's a lot of garbage out there. Mm-hmm. And we sleep on the impact of social media mm. on self. You know what I mean? Big facts. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I cleaned up my social media quite a bit in the mm-hmm. past couple of years. 
and I got rid of all the trash for the majority. You know, even unfollow some people that I've known for years. It's like, you know what? You're not good for my spirit. Like, if I see you outside, I'll be cordial. Yeah. I'll shake your hand. I'll give you I a hug. No beef. But, uh, and so, but some people take that person. Like, man, you ain't even follow me. Like, it's cool. Like, you're not giving what my soul needs to receive. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and if that's not it, then unapologetically, Unapologetic. I'm unfollowing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You say control the controllables, right? Control the controllables. You know, like we, we think about, or when we talk about our thoughts and, you know, just the battlefield in the mind, mm-hmm. right? Like there's so many things that can attack the mind at any moment. Any moment. If we can't control <laughs> what facts. we, you know, if we have some level of control. Yep. Then utilize that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I like that. Um, a question that comes to mind when we talk about self care, mm-hmm. and I know we've talked offline about this, mm-hmm. it's just resounding in my mind. How do we heal? Mm-hmm. How do we heal? What is the healing process via self care? Um, I know one thing that comes to mind for me, or the first thing that came to mind for me. In, in asking myself that question mm-hmm. was community, togetherness. Mm-hmm. I truly believe um, one is not to depend mm-hmm. on anybody else. That to part. depend on, you know, the community, For right? Sure. But in community or with community, yeah. right? I mean, just thinking about I mean, God created us to have community, to have another person, mm-hmm. right? He never created us for, he never created individuals for them to live alone facts you know what i mean so there is good in having positive reinforcement you know whether that's in a partnership family uh or or just in the community at large you know and you know you just think about um i remember there was this, this quote um i read malcolm x said if you replace the i okay with we Okay. Even illness becomes wellness. And I thought that was so profound. You know what I mean? Because, again, we support. You know what I mean? Togetherness, community. There's a lot that an individual can overcome. For sure. Togetherness. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I've always been that person. Like, my friends know me to be the one that brings people together. Mm -hmm. Whether that's, you know, for some drinks, Mm -hmm. uh, to hang out, um, on a trip. Mm -hmm. Or bringing people together through this podcast or through, you know, what we do in the community, the research that we do, the films that we create. Like, I'm big on community, gathering, supporting, conversation. It's vital. You know what I mean? Very much so. Mm -hmm. Um, What's one thing that comes to mind when you think about how we heal? I agree with you wholeheartedly when you say that. But the first thing that came to my mind Mm -hmm. was uh, the scripture, be still and know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be still. Declutter. You know what I mean? That's good. Uh, get mindfulness. You know what I mean? I have a magazine that I bought. Mm-hmm. And it's a Time magazine. It was a special edition. And it's all about mindfulness. And it gives you tips. Mm-hmm. You know, from deep breathing to uh, getting better sleep to exercise to anything that you can do physically or what have you to ensure that you have a stable mind. Mm-hmm. So be still and know. Go on a sabbatical. You know what I mean? Uh, hang out in the crib or yeah. take a trip solo dolo to a cabin. Take yourself out to eat. Take yourself out to eat. Mm-hmm. I've actually, uh, for my 29th birthday, I went to a cabin by myself and I hiked and I just took in all the fresh air, inhaled all the fresh air. I vlogged a little bit. You know, just having those self conversations on things that I want to see muster up for myself, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and just enjoyed. I made me a campfire. I read some books by the campfire. I think I remember that trip. What do they call? Is it is is it my house or getaway my? cabin? Getaway. That's what it is. Yeah, yep. really nice. They got them Super in a couple nice. different places. I know Tennessee got yep. them. Georgia. It's one place I was by looking Mississippi. At trying to, Oh, it's a new one. It's new. We got to talk about that. For sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but, I'm, yeah, so I'm glad you said that because yeah. it's funny. While I have community and togetherness, mm-hmm. my immediate thought next was quiet time. Quiet time. You know what I mean? Tell that me. time is so revealing. <sighs> you are, you know, with yourself. I mean, you're not scared to face yourself. 
Oh. Even if you are scared to face Ooh. yourself. <laughs> but doing it. That's it's the so challenge. It's so revealing, yeah. right? You know, because it's really easy to, to you know, prolong your healing <sighs> by... Hanging out, okay. having fun, mm. liquor, drugs, you know, self-medicating, people, whatever it is, you know what I mean. Like there, there's so many avenues to prolong your healing, you know, yeah. that we hide behind. Big you facts. know what I mean. So that quiet time, yes, like it's so revealing, mm-hmm. you know. Um, there was um, black and well. I just mentioned it earlier, you know, being. An organization that I follow, they mm-hmm. have publications that come out magazines. Okay. And in reading that magazine, I stole a quote and I'm going to use it. Okay. It talked about living to please others. Mm-hmm. Living to please others is a poor substitute for self-love. Ooh. They said, because no matter how much family and friends may love you and adore you, they can never satisfy your visceral need to love and honor yourself. <laughs> I could have screamed. That's heavy. That is heavy. Living to please others is a poor substitute for self-love. You're feeling voids. Wow. No more void feeling. No more. Stop like, running away from yourself. Stop running away from yourself. Love you. God damn it. <laughs> help me. Please help me. Please. Okay. Because let's be clear. You say it all the time, Kane. Yeah. Self-love is the first romance, yeah, right? It's that. so important, mm-hmm. right? But for a lot of people, it's difficult. A lot of people don't even know where to start. Big facts. A lot of people have never done it. Yeah. And, and, and in their mind, they may think that they're not doing it correctly. And some, by virtue of whoever is the, the self-love police, mm-hmm. will say that they are doing it incorrectly, mm-hmm. right? Like, you may not know self-love until you do X, Y, Z. Facts. You know what I mean? So, like, how how... What's the process of determining self-care for yourself? Are there standards that we can all go by, or Mm -hmm. does it really look different per person? Here's a standard that everybody can go by, Mm -hmm. all right? I talk about this a lot, the inner child. Okay, let's go Everybody can revisit their childhood, Mm -hmm. go back and have a conversation with little Ashley, mm. okay? The Ash Cake. See what Ash Cake <laughs> needs yeah. in her adult life. Yeah. Because we carry yeah. a lot of things from childhood into adulthood. So we can travel back in time, get you an old picture of yourself when you was a little kid, all right? And you just bask in that moment. Try to remember what was even happening in that photograph. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. Go back to what you first enjoyed as a kid. I know for me, I enjoy riding my bike in the bayou, mm. right? And I have a bike now, and I call it, when I ride my bike, it's therapy on wheels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what that is for me. Mm-hmm. That gives me time to reflect. It gives me time to 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 listen to sermons or motivation or some healing music, if you will, whether that be Victory Lap, N- Nipsey Hustle, or mm-hmm. some jazz music, or some Donny Hathaway, or what have you. Because music does heal. Music does. Music does heal. Not music just actually not, does a lot. It does a lot. The emotion. Right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, biking. Again, that's therapy on wheels. Little little Trey, my nickname is Trey. Little Trey would appreciate that. Little Trey <clears throat> does appreciate that, right? And then when I was younger, too, I wanted to be on the basketball or the football team. But, you know, I didn't think that my father would show up to my games. So I did not try out for these teams. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I tried out for basketball in middle school, and I didn't make it. And I just gave up that one time because after that, I thought my daddy ain't going to come to my games. No way. Mm -hmm. So why do this? Mm -hmm. But that's also a reason as to why I'm as active as I am now. You know, mm-hmm. uh, because I owe that to myself. Mm-hmm. That's self care. Mm-hmm. Once we get back to that childlike and the hood of the child, if you will, okay, mm-hmm. everything else from adulthood, and then when we're blessed with kids, parenthood, everything can flow, man, like water. Mm-hmm. I really believe that. So that's a standard. 
outside of that, I believe, you know, your self-care is t- is tailor-made to fit at that point. Yeah. I right? Because so. mm-hmm. trap music may be somebody's self-care. Mm-hmm. You know, who's to say that you were incorrect? Right. You know what I mean? Who's to that? Right. Whatever is whatever feels good to your gut. Yeah. Go with your gut feeling. Your gut is God in I your belly. I was just about to say, it's, it's you. It's, it's you, you that knows. That intuition, that discernment, right? Like, yeah. it's, it's you that knows. Yeah. Right? We have these standards and expectations for self-care. We know self-care. We know what self-care culture looks like for, for sure. men and women. Mm-hmm. But like you say, it's not the same for everybody. Mm-hmm. It's tailor-made. But who makes that determination? It's on you. You have to have that you strong gotta be mindset. With yourself yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? That's because we get caught up in trying to do things, yeah. right? Because it's popular culture. Talking spicy. But then at the end of the day, what's the outcome? You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you more tired, exhausted mm. because you're keeping up with this? Mm. You got no money because you're trying to go travel and do this. You know mm. what I mean? Sometimes it, it sometimes it's just a change of scenery. You don't have to travel across the world. You can just switch your room around. Switch your room around. Go outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go to an unfamiliar place nearby. Mm-hmm. Um, go to a new, I don't know. You know, like it can, I think self-care can be simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and maybe we put too too much thought into it making, it, making it this dramatic thing, and then we're disappointed when we don't feel better. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like keep it simple. There's brilliance in simplicity. Yes, it is. I need people to know that. Yes, it is. Brilliance in simplicity. Yeah. All right. Yep. Keep it simple. I think it's healing in simplicity too. Absolutely. Yep. One thousand percent. We healing in twenty twenty two. Hey, and beyond. Self care. That's my song. You gonna learn this song today. All right. <laughs> so you don't know it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tap in for so. I'm gonna tap in. Love yours is a record. Uh, my favorite song of all time, mm-hmm. and I say that till I'm six feet under. Okay. By J. Cole. That's a song that I revert back to often. Okay. Just to remind myself, like, hey, you know, it, it might be all this stuff going on out here in the world, but hey, you got you and you need to love yours. Mm. You know, no mm-hmm. such thing as a life that's better than yours. Mm. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No yeah. such thing. No such thing. Yeah. Heart beating fast. Let Kimar know that he alive. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Yep. I get emotional just talking Hard. about that shit. Like, right. yeah. Like I'm, he- I get choked up every year around my birthday. Going back to the suicide stuff, like, you know, because people be going through shit, man. For sure. And, and you don't know, right? You don't know because again, going back to the bottling up of things, like, mm-hmm. y'all express yourself. Get you a journal. I write every day. Mm-hmm. That's another part of my self care. Mm-hmm. I journal two or three times a day. Reading and writing. Reading you are, and writing. You are a strong advocate for reading and writing. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Like, get it out on paper, talk about it, and go get active. I, I refrain from saying the word exercise because people got a love hate relationship. It's funny because I showed that educating exercise on here. Word. <laughs> but I, I. But yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. activated, man. Get some mm-hmm. activity going. Get some yoga. Even if you just stretch or go for a walk, a mm-hmm. ten minute walk outside, like it makes a difference. That'll work wonders for your life. Yep. Word. Yep. Mm-hmm. Man. Well, y'all, thank you mm. for rocking with us for yet another episode of the Family Tree Podcast. Podcast. This is this is what concludes our love lesson series. Heavy. Um, so like we've talked about, you know, um, loving yourself, mm-hmm. determine and define what self care looks like for you. Yeah. Love yourself, love others. You Big know, facts. Show up, show that love, but then also say it, right? Verbalize that. Mm-hmm. Let's speak that. Um Yeah. Yeah, man. That's it. It's Key Mark Kane coming to y'all to real live. Your favorite country cousin, your favorite Mississippian, and your best friend with the beautiful and beautifully talented. Ashley FG, man. You Until just, next time. Hey, peace and blessings, love and respect. Self-care.